Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 13th of September, Friday of the week of Pentecost 16. Joseph Sittler, 1904-1987. Oh, this is delicious. We read, then they reviled him. You be a disciple if you like, but don't get smart with us. We are disciples of Moses. We know that God has spoken to Moses. But as for this fellow, we do not know where he <clears throat> comes from. That phrase, comes from, is here neither ontological or geographical. It is cultic and organizational. It is a protocol word. It says proper credentials are in order, have been accredited in a long and distinguished history. And who are you? A peasant. This proud cultic rejoiner reminds me of an occasion at Lund, Sweden, at the Faith and Order Assembly of the Churches in 1952. A representative of a body of Christian believers was reporting that among his people, theological learning, structured historical self-consciousness, venerable liturgical and other churchly traditions simply did not exist. But what did exist was confession of faith, martyrdom under persecution, works of love and mercy. To this report, a member of an influential, theologically productive church body replied with a statement that was positively humorous in its hurt astonishment, as if God had pulled a fast and not quite honorable trick, quote, we must face the fact that God has somehow blessed these people. God is apparently no gentleman. And the prayer. Louisa Henrietta, 1591-1660. Jesus, my Redeemer, lives. Christ, my trust, is dead no more. In the strength this knowledge gives, shall not all my fears be o'er. Through the night of death be fraught, still with many an anxious thought. Jesus, my Redeemer, lives, and his life I once shall see. Bright the hope this promise gives, where he is I too shall be. Shall I fear then? Can the head rise and leave his members dead? I shall see him with these eyes, him who I shall surely know, not another. I shall rise with his love, this heart shall grow, only there shall disappear weakness in and round me here. Laugh to scorn then death and hell, laugh to scorn the gloomy grave, caught into the air to dwell, with the Lord who comes to save, we shall trample on our foes, mortal weakness, fears, and woes. Amen.